Oh, who's that now? It's Colin. <laughs> Guys, gym time. Oh, You're still sleeping. How far now? I don't know. We have gym to go to. Wait, what's the time, my back? 30 minutes past 8. Hey, God. Have you forgotten that you supposed to have a busy day today? Oh, shit. I, I have, have a meeting to it. attend. <laughs> Plus, we have Lizzie's birthday to attend tonight. Too busy again. Uh, that's um, that's the senator's daughter. Exactly. Fine, fine. Alpha, I beg, get us another set of women to chill with this night, Abe. Okay. What happens to these two? Just, just do, please. These two are good to go, bro. Just Come fine. on. I've told you, do I don't hang with the same women. Get us another set for tonight, please. You want different set of babes. Different set. Yes. All right, I'll get them for you. Oh, thank you. Guy, uh, uh, yeah, wake up oh, now. Leave me alone now. Wait, you've started again. Mm, mm, mm. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll age. We're already late. Uh, you. Okay. Okay. Please, hurry up, eh? Don't keep me waiting, okay? I've got I've waiting. heard, I've heard. Fine. Understand that uh, Cliff Hood is saving some 10 million naira into your account. That's true. You are right there. Why go. not into the company's account? Why into your private oh, account? God, what's the difference now? Company accounts, my account, what's the difference? There's only a group of companies belong to me. And you must not run it that way, at least not while I'm still alive. The money belongs to the company and must be paid back into the company's account First thing tomorrow morning. Uh, that. That may not be possible because the money is no longer there. What do you mean by money? You, but you said that the money was paid into your yes, account. Yes, they paid money into my account, but I used it to handle some things, you know, some things that were necessary and important. What do you mean by pressing need? Donna! Oh, Auntie, welcome. What's going on here? Why are you skinny? Huh? What's the problem? Oh, come on. You're done. What's going on? Um, I'll be you. Let me Please leave my side. Leave my side. What is going on? What has he done this time? My sister beats my imagination. How this young man is squandering money as if there is no tomorrow. As if it is going out of fashion. Has anybody ever won an award for, for wasting money? Eh? I don't think so. Listen, if, if I was wasting money that way, would I, would I have been able to build up this company? Build it up the way it is today? My brother, I need you to calm down. Take it easy with Donald. Eh? You know he's a young man. You can't be screaming at him all the time. Okay? Please. I just wish you can encourage him to get married. You know, women have a way of, you know, loving their husband, encouraging their husband to do better. They, they love good things. In that way, they just want their husbands to do better, buy properties, buy this, buy that. And he won't be lavishing it on ladies. He's a young man. All these girls are at his back and go. Anything he wants, he can get. Yeah, so please encourage him to get married. That's all he needs to do now. And guess what? Once he's married, we will get grandchildren. It's a win-win situation. You have nothing to lose. Uh, Agnes, please. What, 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 what will you drink? 
I mean, I'll get something to drink. Leave right next. And this one, I just want you to be calm. I will drink later. to do something to stabilize this Naira against the dollar. I mean, the exchange rate is getting so out of hand. It is ridiculous. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh, Commissioner. <laughs> how is the day? Good afternoon. Ah, oh, the family is fine. And how was how, how yours? How are the kids? Okay. Yes. Oh, thank God. We thank God for that. Yes. You you mean my son? Donald? What's he do? How did... What happened? He's in police custody. Ha! Okay. I'll be coming over to pick him up. Yes. Thank you. What happened? Donald is in police custody. Police custody? What? Look who is here. Donald. What is going on with you? I'm so disappointed with you. How could you? Do you know who you are? Do you know the son of who you are? The son of a billionaire. How do you do it? How do you just imagine yourself? With the press, with the headlines, the son of a billionaire, all caught up with prostitutes. I am sorry it's what happened again. Why are you sorry? Because it won't be funny if it happens again. Talk about it. Get your phone out. Make some calls. Grab us some girls and let's go party. Don't want to talk about the police. That's what I'm talking about. Make it happen. All right, we're back in a second. Doing that, right? Hello, Alvin. Get me some yours. Yeah. Guess what I got? And the rest of the women. What am I supposed to do with one bird? Like a threesome or something? Come on, man. Come on, bro. Hey, you can do it. Nah, you gotta make some calls. Make some calls, my G. Some you know calls? what it is. I mean, she's pretty and everything, but one? You want double? Yeah, please. Triple if possible. Oh, triple, triple. Why don't you just deal with this? Also, I don't like that. And I prefer more than less. I really do. Uh, uh, Excuse me. Where are you going? I have to do now. You, you want to walk school. away on 500 Gs? Why now? Come on, girl. Look what you've cost, man. <laughs> uh, please, please. Make those calls. Make okay, those calls, okay, okay, bro. Okay, 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 okay. You just like stress me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just check your book. I made a reservation in my name. Don't know. Yes, check it. Off on. Yeah, man. More girls are coming. Correct, correct, correct. Please yeah, check this one's Why do I know you? Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Listen, I pride myself on being the straightest shooter in the room at all times, so I'll tell you what I need. You look like exactly the kind of woman that I can spend all my money and several nights on. What do you say? I have a section. We could go inside together. You're, you and your very, very tall friend. What? If money is the issue, we got money. Exactly. Hacks her. 
It's plenty, trust me. A lot of it. Yes. So what do you say? Mm. What nonsense are you speaking? I honestly Facts. don't know what um, who is this guy? Cheap drug you're on, cheap but drugs. I don't know what you think we are. I mean call girls? I mean uh, nobody said anything about call girls, but I'm just yeah. saying money is not the issue. How much will it take for you to ditch this idiot? Yeah. Oh, okay. 400. Don't. Oh, All right, you know what, babe? Make it 500. Okay. 500 k. Are you really? Are you really offering money to my wife? Wait. Really? Uh -huh. Did you just say that? You heard that right. <laughs> Both of you are clowns. I can see you now. Wow, this really? is getting really interesting. No, no. <laughs> of course. Good. <laughs> you you can't be serious. You cannot. Hey! <laughs> Bro. Who are those women? You've asked me this over and over again. So you've not seen them anywhere before? Never. Huh. She thinks she can just come in and act smart. You know what you can help me do? Uh -huh. Find out everything you can about her. You know Both you can always count on Both of them. How you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, sit down, please. Thank you, sir. Ah, you said you wanted to see me. Uncle, so I wanted to tell you that I'm ready to settle down. I found someone to marry. As a matter of fact, I've taken her to my mother and she approved of her. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good news. Really good news. Oh. Uh, so I wanted to know when it would be convenient for you so I could bring her here for you to see her as well. Very thoughtful of you. Oh, you considered me too, eh? <laughs> uh, let's say Sunday, yeah. Sunday evening. Uh, bring her around so we can have dinner together. Right. <laughs> Thank That's you, very good, eh? Cool. Well, I have something that I'm doing upstairs. Eh? Okay, Uncle. I will see you later. I'll see you in a movie. I'll let you know before I leave. All right, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Mr. Donald, you called? Yes, uh, Kingsley, just the person I want to see. Look, Mr. Hody is working on some papers for me. He's supposed to bring them here, but he's still busy with it. I will have him deliver it to your desk, okay? Okay, you going now? Yes, I am. I okay. Am. <laughs> Quick question, huh? You really want to get married, Abby? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. What's funny? Yo, bro, what did you say you want to talk about again? Yeah, the lady from the other night. I found out something about her. Really? What did you find out? Oh, her name is Tricia. Tricia Williams. She just got back from the state upon the death of her wealthy mother. Uh -huh. Who's her mother? Jovita Williams. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Tricia lives at number 24 Garden Estate. Yeah, um, her mom left her a fortune. Currently, she heads Jovio Global, which is a company founded by her mom. Yeah, no, that, that's good information, but did you find out if she like swings balls? Let's be honest with now. Mm, let's be honest with yeah. uh, Well, no, she's not into that. But she is a strong advocate of feminism. And she's not big on men. Mm, this one, this one okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just about it.
wonder why all his phones are switched off. Who is that, Chief? The person we are going to see. And he knows we are coming. Chief, you've been keeping me in the dark. You haven't told me where we're going. Where are we going and who are we going to meet? You will know when we get there. Hmm. <laughs> come hmm. on, come Chief. on, let's go. Chief, Chief. <laughs> I don't know where you're taking me. Thing he I've ever walked heard. in with people and didn't with even people. knock. Yes, he didn't knock at the door. Gosh, look, I'm so sorry. Where were you? I was upstairs with Cynthia. Look, I, I know I should have been here no, 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 watching no, no, over no, no, you. It's fine. At least my saving grace is that he did not catch. You know, we're just in the very naked suit. So I hope not the worst, bra. You were lucky. <laughs> Bro, you were lucky. Answer with, uh, with his driver and the. Oh, no, 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 that's not Guy, you were lucky. You were really naked. naked. No, it's not. Bro, that was embarrassing. You know, my zipper was down, everything. I had to start doing photo of my dad. And he had one day, no, Jesus. God, no, no, no. That man was disappointed. Like, seriously, I was not understand that. It'll be fine. You need to just. Can you stop? Can What? Daddy. What up, what do you do? I just want to know. When are you getting married? You see, any young man that is what is on yours doesn't have to be coerced into getting married. Look at your cousin Kinsley. He decided by himself. Nobody had to, to, to coerce him into it. Dad, you're doing exactly what I don't like. Okay, you're comparing me to somebody and you know I don't like it. I'll get married when I want to get married. And when will that be? I will let you know when I decide to get married. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you. I'll meet her in the office lounge. No way. Babe, like this thing happened for real, for real? I'm not joking. Hmm. As in, we walked into that living room and we just saw them there making out. It was, it was so embarrassing. They were there kissing, they were almost in moving. Okay, 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 okay. Ew! I feel for that guy's father. How does he feel when his son is exhibiting such behavior? That boy is just so irresponsible. I really pity the old man, honestly. Like, his father is over here trying to hook him up with a wonderful date and he's there making out with two girls. You think that he would be better behaved? Boy is a lost cause. And to think he's the only son of Chief Benson. Ugh. Are you sure he's not? Adopted or something, cause that blood don't start to mix. You reach to ask, my sister. You <laughs> <laughs> reach to ask. Wow. Only God will help that boy. Okay. Let's go. Yes, please. Ah. Oh. What 
Well, if it isn't the High and Mighty Princess, what in Adam thing are these two doing here? <laughs> uh, ladies, what would it cost to dump this idiot? Oh, not this again. Hmm? How much? Don't tell me you guys are considering it. Are you serious? What's she even talking about? <laughs> What exactly do you mean that I should ask my father, Kingsley? Donald, you of all people should know that what you're asking of me is impossible. How on earth do you expect me to cough out that amount of money from the company's account without your father's permission? Listen, you know that's impossible. You are mistaken. I am not begging you for money. I'm simply saying you should transfer money to my account. There's a difference, Kingsley. Donald, um... I'm only trying to play by the rules here. Mm -hmm. You know what I am capable of doing in this company and what I cannot do. And this certainly is one of the things I cannot yeah, do. Fine, fine, fine. So fine. I think you should just talk to you. Fine. Please. Fifteen million. Yes. That's a huge sum of I, money. I know. And what do you need it for? Well, I'm super glad that you asked what I need it for. What I need it for is that I want to start an importation business. I've already done everything. It's a tricycle importation business. I start with Nigeria, then expand to Africa in general. I have all the contacts and all the details. Wow, that's a huge venture. But what about Bensoni Group of companies that you're managing? Uh, there's one of the many reasons I am proud of you is because of how you built the Bensonic Group and you left it in a state where it was still profitable by the time that I got there. And I want to do that for my kids. I want to have an original idea that it's my business that my kids can grow up and be proud of me for. <laughs> Did I hear you say my kids? <laughs> I love that. I love that aspect of your talk. Uh, but before you get kids, you don't, don't you think you get first of all get married? Daddy, I've heard you. You know what? I'm going to get married soon. I will shock you mm -hmm. that I will get married before Kingston. <laughs> yes, no, no, I'm telling you. That's my boy. Oh, <laughs> I love that, eh? I haven't said anything oh. about the money. No. Get it tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's good. I love that. I love that. Don't worry. If it's marriage you want, I will give you marriage. Soon enough, just just wait. Before Whoa. Kingsley, yes. My goodness. Yes. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> wait, why is no one attending to us anyways? I wonder. We've been here for what? Over 10 minutes. Hello? Hello? Oh, why is everybody has been abandoned? Hello, ladies. Hello. You can't be here by this time. It's order from above. What? I don't know. No? You have a number that you can call. 080 33 95 Is this some kind of joke? I hope you don't want to lose your job. <sighs> Hello, my name is Trisha William. I know you, and I also know why you are calling. Listen, let me tell you. No nightclub in this city will ever welcome the two of you tonight. You 
think you can break my hand and take away my girls and I will keep cool? Come on. Let's play the game. This is just the beginning. Listen, I listen. Who was that? That idiot. This is the best thing for us to do. Speak to his father. Let the father handle it. Because this boy is out of his mind. Good morning, good morning Chief. Chief. Yeah, good morning, ladies. How are you? Very well. Fine, thank you. What are these? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? My name is Trisha. Trisha Williamson. Oh. Mona Lisa here told me that you are the yeah. daughter of uh, Mrs. Jovita Williams. Yes, sir. That's true. Yes, sir. Oh, you're welcome to my home. Thank you, sir. So, to what do I owe this uh, visit? Chief, we're so sorry for coming to bother you like this. No, no, no. I didn't say you came to bother me. I mean, oh. how can... Two beautiful ladies in my heart, the bottom, you know. Oh, thank you, sir. Chief, we wouldn't have had to come here to look for you. If not, that things have really gotten out of hand. Things got out of hand? Yes, Chief. Chief, this is about your son. My Donald. son? Donald. Yes, sir. Donald? What has he done again? Listen, I have no idea. My father is just so bothered, bothering me around. Say, we'll go and get married. I do not want to get married. Listen, this man has told me that he's going to bring a wife for me and that whatever I see, I should get married to it. I'm like, ah, daddy, why? Yes, now. Can you imagine? Listen, see, I don't know how to do it, but I have to find a way to tell this man that I am not even interested in marriage at all. I mean, I can give him grandkids, do the baby mama thing that everybody in the US is doing nowadays, but. Ah, or to be chained down to one person. Come on, man. For the rest of my life. No, 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 no. What can I do? I don't, I don't know. I'll probably just give him excuse after excuse until he's tired and gets off my back. Uh -huh. What else is there to do? You go and get married. You, that. you, you go and get married. <laughs> Oyana, no, Allah. Yes. Okay. Are you sure of what you just told me? Yes, Uncle, I'm very sure. 
I know you wouldn't listen to me if I should try talking to him. That's why I decided to come and tell you. So we can figure out a way on how to help Donald. Because clearly Donald needs help. Okay. Kesley, uh, you can come and start going. Hmm? I need to be alone. Hmm? Okay, Uncle. Yeah. All right. Good night, Uncle. All right. <clears throat> So let me see what you've done. Oh, that's cool. The law. Hello, Donald. Hello, How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yes, sir. You are busy prancing around the law rooms. What do you expect? Yeah, that's the way the job is. I can imagine. You have to do it. Donald. Sir? There is something I would like to show you. Come on, give it to him. What's that? What's that supposed to be? I have changed my will and I want you to see it. And the original copy is held by Barrister Ken here. <laughs> what was this? Well, I want my conscience to be clear that I did everything to help you, but you did not want to change. Yeah. No, 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 you, 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 you can't be serious. What, what's, what's the meaning of this? Since you have decided not to get married, well, I've decided to bequeath all my assets to your cousin, Kinsley. You can't. You can't give me all the land, all the cars, all the ocean liners, all the business, everything. Even the duplex that you're living in. I have bequeathed them all to Kinsley. The only way you can invalidate it is by getting married. And that you must do before I die. Because if I die and the will is read, everything has been bequeathed to your brother. Your cousin. So, the ball is in your court. Make a decision. Daddy, you know what? How are you? You're welcome, madam. Is my brother around? Um, yes, he is. Oh, okay. Guy, 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 guy. Check out this new set of Spanish girls. They're in VR right now, no, so it's making the mood. What do you mean? Aren't we partying tonight? <sighs> I am not in the mood. Bro, I said I am not in the mood. Whoa, what's come over you? Okay. Hey! I 
Marquez just died. Oh God, Agnes, Agnes, open your mouth. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Agnes is dead. is dead. Just like that. How? Why? Who would want to kill Agnes? But seriously, are you telling me no one knows what happened to her? Yeah. My brother, you have to be careful. You have to do something. Yes, I must do something. Sure. Uh, what's it? I just came down and saw her lying on the floor, dead. This house is not safe. You never see such a thing. Government. Stop, stop, stop. Reverse, 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 reverse. Um, Chief, um, do you know why those gunmen came to attack you and your driver? No, I don't. So you can't figure out anything? No. Sir, so I understand your domestic staff, rather your housekeeper, was attacked and killed last week. Yes. Poor thing. I, I, I was upstairs. When my driver came and called me and said that uh, she slumped and died, or she, that, that's what I mean, that she might have slumped and died, because she let out a cry that uh, made him to run into the house, and she was on the floor. Perhaps she has been the primary target all along. See, Chief, we have to figure out something here. Was it you or your driver they actually came to attack? I don't know. Two of your domestic staff were killed within a week. Why is someone killing your domestic staff? Because this attack seems connected. I don't know. And my domestic staff are the best people on earth. So I don't know why they are killing them. Eh? First it was Agnes. And today, Tunde. I don't know. Oh, could it be that the main target was on your driver? I don't know. I don't know why they are targeting us and killing us. Yeah. So, how many were they? I, I really can't say because I was hiding under the chair. But I think I saw at least two people. <laughs> there might even be more. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Chief. We shall leave now. But if you remember anything that could help us in our investigation, please do not hesitate to let us know. I sure will. I sure will. Once again, Chief, sorry for the death of your driver. Hey! Ah. So that is how it's going. Hey! 
imposible que... Donald, why are you looking like this? Listen, Daddy. Hmm? My instincts tell me that you were the primary target of those attacks. And that Tunde and Agnes were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hmm. Listen, son. I was nowhere near Agnes when she died. And according to you, whoever killed her, according to you, would have made me a target. Listen, let's wait for the police report to be out Daddy, before drawing that. Daddy, please think about it. Think about it. Why are these attacks and death? Why is it happening just a few days after you showed me the contents of your will? So what are you saying? I'm waiting? saying that someone who stands to benefit from the will wants you dead. <laughs> Donald, if you want me to feel that my life is under threat and then change the will in your favor, <laughs> you are making a mistake. The only way for me to change my will is you getting married. Lord. Daddy, please get my point. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you is that the timing of all this and you showing me the will a few days ago cannot be coincidental. Whoa. Yes. There are only three people that know about the will. The barrister, barrister Ken. You and myself. Barrister Ken will not divorce the content of that will to anybody. Neither does he want me dead. I don't want myself dead. So, do you want me dead? Um, well, what well, kind of question is that, Daddy? Well, really? All I'm saying, don't make me feel like my life is under threat so I can change the way in your favor. No, no, no. You don't know me, son. I won't do that. The police invited me to their station. Hmm? We shall have this uh, discussion some other time. Amazing. He's responding to treatment. He'll be better very soon. Okay. Yeah, so Doc. Per our previous discussion, these two men will be here to guard my father night and day. He's not to receive visitors regardless of if they're family. Am I understood? That's okay.
Oda, I think I won't see you. Yeah, sorry, you lost the problem. Oda, I like to lie. I won't resign. Why do you want to resign? Hi. Oga, this house killing, 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 you don't too much. Well, like, are my children for house for not? Well, like, there's this small, small. I don't want to die. What are you talking about? Nobody's going to Hi. die. Oga, for this house, they kill them for Agnes. They kill them for Tunde. Now, if you be me, they will kill me. Yeah, you know, you know what? Fine. If you want to resign, please, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, now go there, Oga. Go, go, go. And you, where are you going to with that bag, Emeka? Ah, Oga, do now. Yeah, uh, this house don't become war zone, no. Yeah, they run for my life like this. I will come back for my salary when the world don't end. Fine. So, you say those guys quit? Well, I wouldn't blame them. I myself will be afraid for my life. Daddy. I know you don't like to hear this. But I'm telling you, I feel like these attacks have something to do with the wheel. Are you going back to the wheel again? Yes. There are only three of us that know about this wheel. Yourself, myself, and Barista Ken. And then maybe Barista Ken told somebody, I don't even trust these lawyers nowadays. They will betray anybody for money. No, no, not Barista. I trust him. I trust him with my life. Besides, if you think that somebody is after my life because of the will, who, who can he be? Is it Ken? No, Ken is. Ken sees me as his godfather. I'm his godfather. So it, it can be him. So who do you think? That I still maintain what I said. I feel like this is connected to somebody that is very close to you. Barista Ken! Yes, yes, Barista Ken. What? Yes. I need to. Barista Ken. Because who else knew? Me, people are pushing me. People are pushing me. What do you mean? I, said, I don't know. I don't know. People are pushing me. Do you want to sit down? Can I get you a drink? Mm -hmm. uh, you're here now, so I'll just leave. So. Oh, no. Just to satisfy my curiosity, who are those guys that wanted you and your father dead? Can I... Can I 
trust you. It's your choice. Like I said, don't worry about it. It's complicated. I... How much complicated? Very complicated. I appreciate you bringing me. Thank you for the ride. It's your choice. Um, so, just... Are you going to leave your car there? Oh, my God. Um, I'll send somebody for the car. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the ride. Okay. You're most welcome. Yes. Take it easy and stay safe, okay? How is your dad doing? He's doing very well, thank you, very much. How far has the police come into the investigation? I have no idea as of now how far the police has gone. As a matter of fact, that is the reason I invited you here. Really? Yes. Tell me about it. Marista Kemo, do you perchance know who wants my father dead? I beg your pardon? Do you know who wants my father dead? Slow, slow down. What do you mean, go and try to get a trust? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. How is my father? Okay, okay. You, you, please, please, just, just, just look after him. I'll be there shortly. Please. that attacks my gunmen. It's not bothering you. Yeah, it's bothering me, but what can I do? You know, the police say they are on top of the matter. They will soon solve the problem. And, uh, well, I just got off the phone with the commissioner of police. You know, he's my friend. Did you tell him about the will? No. Dad, I've told you that I suspect that all these attacks have something to do with the will. By the way, Barrister Ken said you came around his office and you were interrogating that him. That I wasn't interrogating him. I told you that my instincts point that he has something to do with the will and my instincts never lie. Donald, enough. Donald, enough. Let this be the last time we bring up this matter of will when we are discussing. Even if the attacks are connected with the will, I will not change them. If you want me to change the will, get married. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, Kesley. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Donna, what's up with that look on your face? It's really scary. What about the files I told you about yesterday to bring to me? Um, I actually came with them, but I left them in the car. Because I thought we were going to work together. Me, go to work? <laughs> no, I'm still recuperating, you know? I'm not strong enough. Whatever comes up in the office, you and uh, Donald can sign them on behalf of the company here. Yeah. Uh, please go to the car and uh, get me those files. Okay, I'll, hmm? I'll, I'll tell you what to do about it. Okay. Hmm.
You are going to make me ask, aren't you? Ask word. I know for certain that you are not married. And yet there is this big shiny wedding ring on your wedding finger. Why, Collins? You mean this? Yes. Well, I just use it to scare ladies away. You know, some ladies tend to think that married men are more responsible. And you're a lot of them in my DM. You know, talking about, hey bro, I want to marry you. Can you be my hubby and all that? So you're yeah, out in the streets looking for women every single day and you are wearing a ring to scare them off. Well, if you want to put it that way, looking for women, women looking for you to get married to, there are two different things. Why are you asking though? I don't know, You can let him in. Yes, I must say, you're the last person I expected to see in my office this morning. Yes, I'm sure, but um, I came because I wanted to talk to you about something important. Listen. Before I get to it, I... I want to apologize. For what I did to you and your friend, it was very childish and immature. And I want to say I'm very sorry about it. I see. Apology accepted. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so I'm not one to beat around the bush. Mm. I need your help. My help? Yes. I need you to marry me, Tresha. I'm sorry? But it's, it's not that kind of marriage. I just, this will be special. You're only going to marry me for about three to four months. And afterwards, you can go. I promise I will not touch you but if my father sees that I'm married he can put me back in as well and everything returns back to normal if I know money's not your problem but if you want money I can sort you out I think Please that sounds me. like a lot a, a lot complicated I don't think I'm willing to play that kind of game listen I if you just listen to me I'd explain it for what you. kind of lady do you take me for three to four months what is that Trish Trisha I'm sorry I have a huge amount of respect for you, and that's the only reason I'm here. I couldn't just carry this to any random girl. Really? I respect you, that's why I'm here, and if you'd let me explain. Well, it's right. kind of too late now, because you already overstayed your welcome. I think I already have a summary of what you want. Um, if you don't mind, see yourself to the door. Thank you. Yes, um, okay. next person. Thank you. Um, I don't know why you're staring at me like that, but I've got work to do, so if you don't mind. What do you want? Listen, um, I never wanted to get married. As a matter of fact, I had planned to live my life without the burden of marriage up until recent things started happening and I want to tell you about those things because I, I trust you. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. Recently, my father disinherited me because of my lack of interest in marriage. And uh, he made my cousin 
the sole beneficiary of his will. Oh. Now I feel that people want my father dead so my cousin can immediately get everything that he owns. So what you're saying is that your cousin is trying to get your father killed so he can immediately no, inherit his property? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I, I don't know. Why would your father let your cousin in and what's in his will? My father didn't let my cousin know, but I'm sure the lawyer has something to do with it. My, my, my instincts tell me. Listen, dude. dude. Look, listen. Trisha. Trisha, the only way that I'm going to get back in my father's good books and into his will is... If I get married, otherwise my cousin is going to get everything that my father owns and I just can't stand to see someone else get on my father's property. So, you? Yes. Look brother, your life is really complicated and I would love to help you but with all of this you just told me, people getting shot and assassinated, I can't do this. Don't give me that puppy eye look. I can't. Nothing's going to make me do it. Nothing. I'm not going to. Excuse me. Uh, right now? Yes, please. Wow. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Don't want to speak. What? No, no, no. In his car. Wait, 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 wait. Is he okay? Oh, no, no, no. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Okay. What? My father was only lucky today. What if they're still looking for him? What if this happens again some other day? What happens then? Don't be too hard on yourself. Come on, the, the doctor said he'll be fine. He's just in shock, okay? I'll marry you. Okay. I know if all of this is happening because of the will, then I'll marry you. I could do it for four months and then go our separate ways, but I just want you to be fine. I'm actually worried about Uncle Benson. This whole thing happening around him could possibly want him dead. No, my brother is such a nice man. But anyway, you don't have to be worried. The police will do their job now. It's in their hands. You think so? Of course. You don't have to worry. The police will find out whoever is doing this. Look, what is baffling me is uh, who could possibly want Uncle Benson dead? Uncle Benson is a good man. I don't want my brother dead though. I don't know who is doing this, but I know the police is working. I know they must get this person. I know my son could have. It's okay. Hmm? That's my boy. Hey. Oh, hi. Okay. Thank you for coming, please. Are you okay? You come in really worried. You asked me to come over here? Yes. Do you want to drink? Uh, no, 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 don't worry. Forget about drinking. It's, no? it's fine. Yes, I was worried. What's, what's the problem? Are you okay? Listen, I... To be honest with you, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Uh, I, I just... I'm tired of life and I need somebody to talk to us. But hold on, hold on. You're, you're 
scaring me. What do you mean you're tired of life and you're losing your mind? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Good. So, we draw that statement about you being tired of life and losing your mind. It sounds like suicide. Fine, fine. Uh, I am not tired of life and I'm not losing my mind. Good. So, you can buy me a drink. I thought you said you didn't want to drink. I'm allowed to change my mind, fine, aren't fine, I? Fine, fine, fine. Um, please, thank you. Please. Please. Face looks familiar. It's like you've been. <coughs> Donna, sir. I hope she has not come to complain no, about no, you no, again. No, 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 hold on. Let me do the introductions, okay? Daddy, this is Trisha Williams. She is the daughter of <gasps> Jovita Williams. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen that face before. Yes, yes. Yeah. And no, 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 no. Your son is a good boy. Okay? Your son is a good boy. Huh? You heard me properly. Did you say? I said what did you your speak? son is a good boy. As a matter of right. fact, I I have some good news. Uh -huh. So myself and Trisha have we've decided to get married. Wow! <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, what? you're welcome, eh? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? You for agreed to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, exactly. Now you are you are acting. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Please sit down. Please sit down. Now this is called for, for for a celebration. Sister, I'm very happy. In fact, I'm celebrating. Yes. Ah, let me tell you why I'm celebrating. Okay. Do now has found a wife. Yes! Yes! Your dog has found a wife. Yes. And is getting married very soon. Of course. Uh-huh. No, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, both of them, he and Kinsley can wed on the same day. Yeah, I, I don't care. But whichever way he decides, okay? Uh-huh. But I'm very happy. For him to have thought about it and concluded, ah, you need to come and celebrate with me. Please come down, come down. Yeah, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm rejoicing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Papa, I thank you. He has finally decided to get married. Mm. understand why you want to get married on it's a Monday and rather than a Saturday or Sunday. Dad, I've told you that's what me and Trisha decided and we are not changing our minds, okay? Mm. But, you know, my family members will talk. Eh? They even wanted you and Kinsley to wed on the same day. I get you. But myself and my wife-to-be want a very small wedding. We don't want the public, we don't want the cameras, we don't want news, we don't want noise, no razzmatazz, no razzle-dazzle, nothing. Just a quiet wedding with family members, essential family members only, okay? My only son getting wedded on a Monday? 
What, 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 what will I tell all my business associates, my top political friends, all those da, 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 top minister, da, da. ministers of the gospel? I, I get it. I get it. Please. I want my decision to be respected in this matter. Besides, we don't know who is gunning for your safety. We don't know who made the attacks on you. So we have to be careful. And that's why I'm giving the invitations. No physical invites, by the way, to only family members. Hmm. That's okay, okay, okay. Whatever you say. It's okay with me. Fine. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm going to have Collins bring you to the venue. Please do not leave the house without your bodyguards. All right. Please. All right. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> It's looking like there's a traffic on Thomas Road. Ah, oh, I didn't know that St. Thomas used to be busy at this time of the day. Well, it is. We may have to take another route. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's follow the other route. Okay. Okay. You know that today is a very important day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's go. What's wrong with the car? I don't know. Oh, okay. Let me just park and check it out. Let's go and find out what happened to the baby. Okay, okay. Surprised? Collins, please don't kill me. If you make any wrong move, I'll blow off your score. Please don't kill me. I'll, I'll give you anything you want. Any, anything, just mention it, please. Oh, you think life's all about money, right? This is about revenge. This is about my sister. Let's see how your money would save you now, Chief. Goodbye, Chief. Dad, yes, I'm on my way out. Wait, what? No, 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 no,
snake he was it was right there so where is this Collins now I have no I have no idea where he is Jesus have to waste our time because if you do we shall not only watch you bleed to death we shall increase the pain and make you suffer ten times over now tell us why speak I'll, I'll confess I'll confess I'll confess speak I'll confess, speak. I'll confess. I was contacted to 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 kill Chief Benson by 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 who? By his sister. My brother around? Um, yes, he is. Oh, okay. Uh, Madam, I have a very important information for you. Important information? Yes. What about? Uh, God has buttered your son's bread. What do you mean, God has buttered my son's bread? Collins, I called you here to make you an offer. An offer of a lifetime. Don't you want to own a mansion? Of course. And I will make you one of the directors in Ben Sunny Groups. What? How can that be? Simple. Get rid of Chief Benson. Your own brother? Yes, my brother. How will killing Chief Benson fetch me those offers when he has a son, who incidentally happens to be my friend? Oh, come off that. If Chief Benson drops this today, my son inherits everything he owns. Are you sure about this? Yes. So how is that? How's, how's, how's that possible? Well, according to his will, Donald, this inherits everything because he's not married. As long as Chief Benson is alive, he's okay. But if he drops dead today, everything changes. Who would want to miss that opportunity? <laughs> then I guess it's payback time. What do you mean by that? It's definitely payback time. Well, we're on the roll. <laughs> Are 
you okay? Oh, Your stomach. What's, what's the matter oh, with you? Your stomach. Did you take anything poisonous? What, what exactly is wrong with you? Calm down. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Let me get you some pills and some water, okay? Okay, calm down. Let me... Calm down. I'll, 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 I'll take you to the hospital, okay? Donald, Benita is dead. What do you mean Benita is dead? What happened? Hey, I'm so sorry, Mom. You got her pregnant and you left her to die. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I know you're upset. I told her to keep the baby. I told her not to get an abortion. You told her to keep the baby. Yes. Yet you promised her never to get married to her. You knew what it was now. How irresponsible can you be? You knew what it was. I was... Come on, man. You can't blame this on me. Donald, you did this to me. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't tell her to get an abortion. I told her to keep the baby. I was willing to do right by her. I don't know what happened. Listen, I understand your upset. Bro, I do. I'm very sorry about your sister. I'll give you a moment to process everything and then we'll talk about it. Please. Okay. Jesus. Yes, sir. I'll give you space. Then I'll you sorry. You did this to me, your friend. Oh, I see your father's money is getting into your head. I will teach you what it means to have next to nothing. Responsible bigot. Sorry. Okay. And that was why I, I accepted to kill Chief Benson. Not just because I was promised a mansion, but I wanted Donald to pay for the role he played in my sister's death. I wanted him to lose his inheritance. I wanted him to know pain and misery. Wookie Darkness. Answer! I did. I poisoned her. She knew way too much. That's right. did I did for your own good. You won't understand. I have to go. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? For my own good, how? How do I, don't, I don't understand. What, what when do I you? get to my destination, I give you a call. Wait, what destination? Where are you going? Please, I'm I need sorry. You're under arrest for murder, assassination attempts, and conspiracy to murder. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Excuse me? I, 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 I don't understand. Officer, take her away. Uh, what's going on? No, hold on. What's going on? What's going on? Officer, hold on Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. So, uh -huh. it's been a rough few weeks. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, good. Yes. Uh, listen, I just want to say thank you. I am really, really grateful for all your help and uh, just supporting me through. No worries. You're welcome. You can't even believe what my father did. He he called me just before I got here, asking if we had rescheduled the wedding date. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Speaking of dates, I I would like to take you on an official first date, if that's okay with you. Like a real date date? Like, exactly. Like he dates dates. Is that a yes? <laughs> okay. Okay? Okay. Fine. My dad would be ecstatic. <laughs> I can't imagine. And also we have to talk about Richard Lindo's dates as well. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, this is going to be different than the one before. I'm going to print out the IVs next week. I'm going to give you as many as you want and you can do whatever you please. Oh, you leave that to me. I'm sure. Oh, I'm going to shake this news. I mean, the whole country will know that the only son that of Chief Benson Egigwe is getting Dad, married. please calm down. I'm sure. I'm sure you, need to you know what? I don't mind. You can do as you please. I on the whole world to know that I am getting married to the most beautiful woman in the world. Are you trying to make me jealous? Oh, please. <laughs> you not. I will give you the you not. Send it out as you please, okay? Anyway, <laughs> this is the wedding of the decade. Oh, daddy, I know. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now you're welcome to the family, yeah? Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'm very happy. I'm very happy to you. Thank you. 